Hey guys, this is the video lesson for chapter two, lesson one, and we are going to be changing fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. So on this page, here's the first thing you're gonna do. You need to pause this video and you need to fill out your foldable. If you didn't get a foldable, get one from me. But on your foldable, just so you see, your front cover for the, the one flap is gonna be the lesson title, 2.1 fractions and decimals. And when you flip it open, you're gonna have a top and a bottom flap. This is going to be your top flap. Copy it exactly like this is on the top flap. This will be your bottom flap. Copy this in your bottom flap. If you're not sure, ask me or ask a classmate. But before you move on, you need to get this copied in your foldable because you'll need this in the next steps. So like I said, pause the video and get this copied first. As soon as it's copied, restart it because you'll be going on to the next page. All right, so... Right now, I'm assuming you have your foldable filled out because you need it as we go on. And remember, if you don't, pause the video right now and get it filled out. So on this first page, we are on page 90. So make sure you are on page 90. I want you doing everything with me. Um, we are going to be changing decimals to fractions. So I have right here in this box, these are, these are the three steps you wrote in your foldable. So I'm just gonna show you, and also remember, you can use a calculator in this entire lesson. So let's start looking at example one. In example one, we have to change that, that decimal, 0 0.6, into a fraction. So I'm gonna show you how these three steps work. Say it, write it, reduce it. Now the first thing you do is you say this decimal. Don't say 0 0.6, that won't help you. You have to say 6 tenths. Notice I didn't say the zero and six tenths. I just said six tenths. So what I'm gonna do, that's step one, I said it. Now I'm gonna write that, but you write it as a fraction. Six tenths. And then last, you reduce it. You could reduce this in your head, or remember, if you type it in your calculator, remember you're using the fraction button, which looks like this, ABC, you would type in six fraction button 10, right? Hit enter, and it reduces to three fifths. That's your final answer. So the three steps were say it, six tenths. Write it as a fraction, six tenths. Reduce it, use your calculator if you want, three fifths. That's it. Now in example two, I'll show you here how it works. Let me move the page up a little bit. So in this one, we have this decimal. So I'm going to say it, write it, reduce it. First, you have to know how to say it. Forty-five hundredths. Now I'm going to write that as a fraction, 45 hundredths. That's step two. Last, reduce it. You could reduce it on your calculator, or if you do it without a calculator, they both divide by five, and you get nine twentieths. Final answer. Remember, say it, 45 hundredths. Write it, 45 hundredths. Reduce it, nine twentieths. Okay, last one. If I go here, let me move the screen up. I have this decimal right here. So I'm gonna say it, write it, reduce it. When I say it, it says 375 thousandths. Now I'm gonna write that, 375 thousandths. And I'm going to reduce it. Now this is one you probably definitely want to reduce on a calculator. And if you type it in, remember, type in 375 fraction button 1,000, it will reduce to 3 eighths, which is your final answer. All right, so we're going to go down, and we're going to try A, B, and C. So here's what I want you to do. Remember, I'm going to keep these steps right here, because you're going to pause the video in a second. Your job is to pause the video and do A, B, and C. Do all three. When you're done with A, B, and C, hit play and go over the answers with me on the video and make sure you fix any mistakes. Okay, remember the steps. Say it, write it, reduce it. You could use your calculator. Pause the video now and go. All right, let's see how you did. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do A, B, and C. Remember, you should already have it done and you should be checking your answers. If you had any wrong, fix them. All right, ready? First one, 8 tenths. Write it, 8 tenths, reduce it, 4 fifths. That's it. Second one, 
28 hundredths. That's where I set it. Write it, 28 hundredths, and reduce it. I know you could use a calculator, but I'm going to divide by 4, just to show you without a calculator, and you get 7 25ths. Okay, and in C, say it, 125 thousandths. Write it, 125 thousandths. Reduce it, 1 eighth. That's it. All right, if you had them all right, good, you're doing great. If not, make sure you fix your mistakes in your book before you move on. All right, on to the next page. Um, in this page, we are going to, let's see, we're going to do problem number, example number four real quick, and then we'll, ha we'll do problem D. So let's take a look up at example four. And I think we're still saying it, writing it, reducing it here. So let me get rid of this. You don't need that right now. All right, in four, it says, the average length of a conch shell is 9.85 inches. Express 9.85 as a mixed number in simplest form. Now, do not be panicked by the fact that it has nine holes because you still say it, write it, reduce it. So watch, when I say this, this is how you say it, nine and 85 hundredths, right? Nine and 85 hundredths. Now watch when I write it. I write nine and 85 hundredths. Now, you might be wondering, how do you reduce on your calculator a mixed number? Well, it's kind of easy, watch. First off, this nine holes, you don't type in your calculator. So that nine holes is going to stay. You just have to type in the 85 hundredths. So type in 85 hundredths in your calculator and hit enter. Okay. Once you do that, you get 17 twentieths. So your answer is 9 and 17 twentieths. All right. So, say it, write it, reduce it. Now, let's go down to problem D. So you are going to try problem D on your own, and when you're done, restart the video if you, to see if you are right. Okay, pause the video, do problem D now, go. All right, let's see how you did. So, first off, let's read it. It says, it takes approximately 4.65 or 4 and 65 hundredths quarts of milk to make a pound of cheese. Express this amount, amount as a mixed number in simplest form. Remember, say it, write it, reduce it. So let's start by saying it. It's 4 and 65 hundredths. I'm going to write that. 4 and 65 hundredths. Now when I reduce it, remember that 4 I just going to bring over for my whole number. I only have to worry about reducing the fraction part. 65 hundredths. So... If I type 65 hundredths in my calculator, I get 13 twentieths. So the whole thing reduces to 4 and 13 twentieths. If you have that, give yourself a C. If not, make sure you fix it before you move on. All right, now we're going to go down and we're going to do the opposite. This is where we take a fraction or a mixed number and we write them as decimals. Now, they have two examples down here. Um... We're not going to go over method one. We're going to do method two because it's only one thing you have to remember. Um, so right here, this is what you should have on the second flap of your graphic organizer. And all it's only one step. Divide the numerator by the denominator. So let me show you what happens. Are you ready? So And it says write 9 twelfths as a fraction. You just type in on your calculator 9 divided by 12. It is very important that you type it in the correct order. The 9 has to be first. This line means divided by and 12. And if you type that on your calculator, your calculator will make it a decimal because 9 divided by 12 is 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths. That's it. Now, method 2, they're doing it long division, but we are not doing long division. We're allowed to use calculators on this, so don't worry about that. All right, let's go down. Have you try, try one down here. So, and let me get rid of some of that stuff there. We don't need that. We don't need that. Eh. Okay, we're good. All right, so here's your job. Your job is to, 
change each one of these to a decimal. And you're going to do numerator divided by denominator. That's it on your calculator, and then you got your decimal. That's it. So do E, F, and G. Pause the video while you're doing them, and then when you're done, play, hit play to see if you were right. Go. All right, let's see how you did. First one, three-fifths. Did you do three divided by five and get 0 0.6? That becomes six-tenths. Now, in F, um, you would do 14 divided by 25. And if you did that, you would have 0 0.56, or 56 hundredths. That's your answer. And in G, you would do 102 divided by 250. And if you do that, you have 408 thousandths. They're your three answers. That's it. All right. If you had any wrong, make sure you fix them. And think about what you did wrong before you move on. Because we're about to go to the last page. The last page is just a real world example here so you always see this last example when you look up here it says real world so we'll see how real world this one is this says a caterpillar can have as many as 4,000 muscles compared to humans who have about 600 write the length of the caterpillar as a decimal all right so let's look over at this caterpillar all right notice they have the length right there. So we have to write this 1 and 3 eighths inches as a decimal. Now, just because it's a mixed number does not make this any harder because remember this one hole. When we write it as a decimal, the very first thing I do is I'm going to write one point. Once I get the one hole in my decimal where my answer is going to go, I no longer need to pre pretend it's there. So now, all I do is divide my numerator by denominator. 3 divided by 8. Now, when you do that on your calculator, you get 0 0.375. You just have to write that after your one whole. But remember, don't write the 0. You write everything after the decimal. So your answer is 1.375. That's it. So to summarize it, that one hole, just put down in your answer and forget about it. Do 3 divided by 8, you get 0.375. Write that after your 1, and you're good to go. So your the length, and don't forget for this one, your unit is going to be 1.375 inches. All right, you're done with me. So here's all you're going to have to do. If you are absent, make sure you look on your absence sheet because it's probably telling you to do some of these guided practice problems down here on your own. So if you forget how to do any, look back at your foldable, your graphic, your foldable for your notes, or rewatch part of the video to help you. All right. I hope this helps. Have a good one.